you'll be exploring my first cruise with me ever. I am here! I am here! I've never done this before, so this should be really, really fun! I can take off my mask as soon as I'm done with this railway. I'm excited! <laughs> It was the first cruise back at LA port post pandemic. Is my room. Doesn't look like my luggage is ready yet, but we'll see. Let's see. Woohoo! Nice, nice. I am just glad that I could go to my room right away, even though my things aren't here yet. But I just want to relax. I'll give you a tour later. Sorry for my chap lips, but I just saw my room and it's amazing. I'm at the buffet. Good morning. Thank you. Let's see what they got in store. I'm done with my first selection of the buffet ever, ever. But look at this view of Long Beach here. Don't mind my mess. Don't mind. I'm not going to eat it all, but don't mind my mess. Out our captain making an announcement on the screen. Yes, to my fellow Asians, my fellow Filipinos. Let me zoom out of here. There is the pool. I'm like one of the first people to check in. That's why it's empty right now. Take a look at this pool here. So cool. Thank you. Slide. is about to start. I don't know what to expect. I'm honestly kind of tired because I woke up so early and I couldn't sleep last night. But we'll see what we're going to get into. my room but we're finally sailing and this is the first time that I got back to my room and look at this this is great this is amazing if I could open this of course <laughs> cut no, I'm just kidding this is nice the sun is just setting it's about you know, 7 p.m. or, oh no, it's not even 7, I'm drunk. Tonight we're going to Teppanyaki, it's like one of those Benny Hanna style, like, restaurants or whatever. I'm a little buzzed, I had a few drinks. But yeah, I'm so excited, so I'll, I'll tell you how it goes. Look at this staircase here. The video doesn't do it justice, but it's pretty. Hello. <laughs> uh, 
all right it's 7 a.m ish it's still dark out um i'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast i didn't sleep the night before because i was so excited to come to the ship and I had an early flight. So I did not sleep the day before I got here. So I went to sleep at like 9.30 like an old person. And I heard the old people next door to me on top of me like have sex and stuff and just be loud and party and, and scream in the hallway. So that just goes to show that I'm probably like 30 years younger than them and I don't party as hard as them. But anyways, I woke up at like 5.45 this morning. So excited to get breakfast and get my day started. Maybe work out. This is where they play trivia and all the good stuff and gather. They have a Starbucks here, but I don't drink that. Guest service is right over here. And an atrium bar. You know, originally when I booked this, they said it was only 60% capacity, but honestly, I think it's a lot more. So I am enjoying just being able to walk around with like no one here. I know part of, you know, going on a ship is being social, but you know, the only reason why I came is because I heard it's a pandemic and it's limited capacity. This is the art gallery, by the way. What time do you open? Breakfast doesn't start till 7.30 and I just op I just woke up way too early. So I'm just sitting here waiting, but my window has like a view of the ocean and the sun rising, but yeah. I guess I'm like worse than old people. Like these old people on the cruise are just like sleeping in and fucking partying late. But me, I'm like the opposite. I'm having breakfast at um, Savor, one of the uh, free dining options here, and I'm seated right next to the window. So I'll have my breakfast right next to here. This is the salt room um, in the thermal suite. And the thermal suite is actually $250 for the whole week. And I'm kind of glad I didn't purchase it. So this is another room that's part of the thermal suite package. And this is the sauna room. So aside from the salt room, you have a sauna room and you have a basic steam room. So yeah, again, kind of glad I didn't pay $250 for this. A cool view. This is the back, I believe. It has a view of the observation deck. And today I was a little better with my selection. I am at the 24 hour dining option. It's called the local. Open 24 hours, lots of uh, bar favorites.
Look how relaxing. So my room is up here. This is the outdoor deck of ocean blue. I dined al fresco at their specialty dining ocean blue. It was good. I got to get some fresh air and eat some delicious seafood. I started out with shrimp um, popcorn and my clam chowder wasn't a huge fan of. I actually told them to take it back. But I just, you know, like being outdoors and eating and enjoying my food and catch my next episode where we go to Mexico.